Beastman requires that only licensed contractors perform installation and service on their boilers. Beastman also recommends attending their academy training, which covers all aspects of installation, service, and troubleshooting. Welcome back, we're here in the training lab at Wiesman US headquarters in Warwick, Rhode Island, and we're gonna go over the coating and wiring for the VitaLens 100 wall-mounted boilers. Okay, so before you can take the cover off, you're gonna to wanna to check to make sure the screws underneath are loosened, and you'll know they're completely out by the fact that they'll just hang on the bottom, and you can push them and they'll just dangle there freely. But after they're unscrewed, you can open up your unit, and then you'll be able to take a look at the little terminal that's set up for your wiring. You're going to see the terminal in the bottom left corner of your boiler, and the left two terminals labeled one and two are where you're gonna put in your end switch or TT connection, and the right two terminals labeled three and four is where you put in the optional outdoor temperature sensor. If you got the B1HA, you'll notice in the back here that there are these two red plugs. Those are to be connected to your number five domestic hot water sensor, or you can remove the plugs and put on an acrostat. You just have to change some of the coating, and we can go take a look at the lab and do that right now. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is turn on your boiler. And in order to do any coating on these boilers, you need to get into the configuration menu. So in order to get there, you start by hitting mode, and you go all the way down until the words confi start flashing. You hit OK. You'll see the letter P and a flashing zero. Hit the up arrow until that number turns to 12, and you hit OK. And now you are in all the settings for your boiler. You can see in this table that there are many settings, and for your specific job, you have to determine which ones are important and which ones you don't need to worry about. For this video, we're specifically going to focus in on parameter 14, which is the sensor for your domestic hot water tank on the B1HA. So for that, you're gonna go all the way up until the flashing number reads 14, right over here. And if you hit OK, you can now change this number between a zero or a one. Now the zero will be the number five sensor, and the one will be an aquastat. So depending on which one you're using, that will determine which number you set it to. Hopefully by now your boiler is set up and all ready to go. And I hope you found these videos useful. If you did, be sure to hit like and subscribe at the bottom of the page. So hopefully they'll give me a raise. For any additional questions regarding installation, you can go to our website, scroll down to contractors. And if you click on the sales network tab, You'll get a list of trained Wiesman sales representatives who provide local support to our customers. Thanks for choosing Wiesman and have a nice day.